They are rare but stunning deaths. Teen athletes who collapse and die during play from cardiac arrest. Now a local effort is aimed at preventing those tragedies. Gene Anderson has the story in today's King 5 Children's Health Link. Student body president Hejun Choi was one of 300 teenagers to get free heart screenings at Garfield High. Like many, he's into sports. I play uh, soccer, I do tennis, um, swimming, and track. They seem to be in top shape. And you do play sports, softball. But athletes are at risk of a rare cardiac arrest triggered by exercise. Like I said, I'm just going to put some more patches here. Electrocardiograms, or EKGs, can detect abnormalities in the heart's electrical activity. And a cardiac ultrasound can see blood flow and heart valve problems. If the screen spot a defect, the health team would advise a student to go in for more formal tests. On the team today, health care providers from medics to cardiologists. A bunch of volunteers from, from UW Medicine, Seattle Children's, and the Nick of Time Foundation who've come together to screen young kids and look for hidden heart disease. Sudden cardiac arrest killed 16-year-old football player Nick Varenti. His family started Nick of Time. This was something we didn't know about ahead of time. We know that there's other parents who don't have any idea that this can happen. Dr. Jonathan Dresner is team physician for the Seahawks and UW Huskies. What we know is maybe as much as one in 300, one in 400 kids may actually have a heart condition that puts them at risk for a, a considerable problem like cardiac arrest. He said warning signs include chest pain or passing out during exercise, a child's heart racing when it shouldn't, or being more out of breath than peers are. All those could be signals a child needs treatment. And sometimes those interventions are medications, sometimes they're activity limitations or restrictions from sport. Um, occasionally it could be a, a more invasive procedure or even surgery. Reuben Palmer passed the screen with flying colors, but said he'd choose his health over sports if he had to. Sports is my life, and it always has been, but that would be a tough choice. But if, it's, if it has to happen for my health, then it's, you know, it's necessary. The Nick of Time Foundation and partners hope to place more than 200 defibrillators at Seattle schools and athletic fields by this fall. I'm Gene Anderson for King 5 Children's Health Link, linking you to better health. It's important for your child's pediatrician to know about your family history of heart problems, including early heart attack deaths. We have a pet.